Hi, Lorraine. Thank you so much for joining me today on Silver Sage Magazine. Hi, Tracy. I'm so excited to be here with you. Awesome. Today with me, I have Lorraine Perez Berger from New York. And welcome so much and congratulations on your new wedding. Thank you. So we're interviewing Lorraine today because she's on a site called Going Gray Gracefully. This is a topic I find super fascinating because it's something that I, I struggle with myself every day. Go gray, not go gray, <laughs> color, <laughs> not color. So, um, so Lorraine, tell me your story. What made you decide to take the plunge and, and be your authentic self? Well, like you said, the struggle is real. <laughs> Um, I didn't always color my hair just for, because of my grades, although I started going great early because it's just hereditary. If I'm lucky now, I'll have all white hair like my grandpa did. Um, but I'm always about fashion. I'm from New York and I went to school in the city and I worked in the city for quite some time. So it's all about fashion for me. So I always experimented and um, I'm over 40 now. And although I like certain looks, I, sometimes I contemplate like, okay, is this appropriate, age appropriate? Even though I don't like to define clothing or style or anything with age, I think you should wear what you want. If you feel you look good, why not? Um, but as the gray started, the transition, it's now like a fashion trend around 2017. I always do something different for the new year coming in. So I'll dye my hair. That's part of my, just to change my routine and get a little, I always tell my husband, you're going to get a new woman today. <laughs> you're coming home to a new woman. So um, I decided to go gray and do the gray dye. And I said, maybe this will let me like allow me to let go and just let my grades come in because it's pretty obvious to me that they were coming in fiercely. So I did it and it started by you started by actually dyeing yourself gray. I dyed it gray. And how was that for you? It that's looked hard, amazing. That's a hard process. Don't they have to rip strip the color out of your hair first, then apply the gray? So it's a it's a it's a big chemical process. Well, um, I, it is a process, but I was always on the blonde side. I like to go blonde every now and then because when it's light, you can always do so much. Although I've been, I've gone jet black and blue, blue, black, um, reds, but blonde has always been my favorite because it really hides the grays. It's nice. It camouflages. It's a good camouflage. Um, but I decided, let me just try it. And I always dye my own hair. I'm not afraid to try new things. Um, and I always say, I've had this thought, like, it's just hair. It'll grow back. Um, right. If I fry it, I'll cut it. And, and we'll just move on from it. So I went for it. I got this bottle of L'Oreal. It was their new, one of their new colors. And it was violet, um, violet gray I think that's what they called it so I put it in um, and it looked awesome however and I got a lot of compliments however I was feeling like <gasps> and I didn't want to like usually I'll keep it in for till it's time to get it redone and I'll decide do I want to apply the same hair color or do I want to try something new so when it came to that point where I was deciding what do I want to do? Um, I just decided I don't want to do this again. Like, I just felt like, oh my gosh, like, this is like, I'm seeing myself older. I felt like I looked older. Although my friends were like, oh my God, it's fantastic. You can pull anything off because they're already used to me changing my hair color at any moment's time. Which helps. Yeah. <laughs> So what did your husband think when you came home and you were gray and did you go full gray or just partially gray? It was like full gray. And since it had blonde and where my hair is naturally gray, the blonde got really, it's usually very, very light. It took that on like just silver. So it was, it had this purple haze to it. 
very pretty. I have a picture I can share it with you. Um, really, really nice. However, lots of compliments. However, I was feeling a certain way. It wasn't what anybody else was telling me. It was what I was looking at in the mirror. And, and what did you see when you looked at yourself in the mirror as full gray? I said, I look old. Huh. I felt like it was an older, more mature look for me. And I mean, I don't know why I'm struggling with that. I'm, I just turned 47, like face it, like you're getting there, you know, you're there. Um, but I, ha I have been a young mom. I, my daughter's 28. So I had her at 19. So I kind of grew up with her and she keeps me really young and she keeps me hip. And um, I don't always see myself as old as I am, I guess. <laughs> And I don't usually get that response from people. They're usually pretty surprised at my age. So to identify with the gray hair was almost like seeing myself in the future, but the future is now, Lorraine. So, so, so let me ask you this. So you dye it gray. Your husband thinks it looks fabulous. Yeah. Your, your friends and, and colleagues think it looks fabulous, but right. you look in the mirror and you see an older version of yourself. Yes. So what'd you do? I dyed it blonde. <laughs> went back. I went back. Okay. Um, this time I, because I always try, so I did rose gold had just come out. It's a rose gold blonde. And I said, that'll be fun. Easy transition. It's still blonde. It's still light. And it's still a little funky. So I did that. And it, that was like awesome. I felt like this is my new hair color. I'm loving it. And then I started, I, but still in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm just over it. Like, just, I want to see what I look like. You know, I don't think I've seen what I look like since I was maybe 20. Is that how long you've been dyeing your hair different colors? Mm -hmm. Okay. So over 20 years, you've been dyeing it purples and pinks and blues and blacks and, and gray. And now you're thinking, who am I really underneath? Right. Okay. How was that skunk line for you for all those months? I ignored it. It was summertime. You know, I'm going through the summer. I'm always in the pool. I just put a lot of conditioner and, you know, just wear little hats and stuff. So it kind of, you kind of ignore it for a minute. And it didn't say anything to you like, oh, honey, color your hair. <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I read a lot about and I go through that website that I'm on on Facebook the great transition going great gracefully and um, I'm reading a lot of the feedback that women get and a lot of women get negative feedback and I guess I'm blessed because I don't get that maybe it's because people are so used to me doing whatever I feel like with my hair mm -hmm. um, but everyone's pretty supportive and now they know this is like a movement for me this is very intentional so they're all like it's great it looks good you look so good you're gonna pull anything off we can't wait when are you gonna chop it off because they know like i'm gonna get to that point where it's i just want because it's a bunch of colors now if you see i did some gray however i used a shampoo which i bought the product here so you can see um, and what's the shampoo is for? It's just an, it's just coloring shampoo. So it's not any dye and you just shampoo with shampoo and conditioner by viral okay. and they have all these fun colors. So I don't understand. So you use the shampoo as the color? Yeah. So it took in at the bottom where my hair is pretty fried just from all the dyeing, And then, um, that, that night I bought this shampoo, I chopped this side off because I wanted to see what it really looked like. And I was like, maybe I could pull this off and still be cool, you know? So I, I never even heard of this product. So you have your hair, it doesn't matter what color your hair is, you, you, you shampoo and condition with this viral shampoo. Right. It changes your hair color? Yeah, and it, and it washes out slowly. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it just yeah. adds. Definitely it have just, to check that out. Yeah. Okay, so so then you get to the wedding and you went back to your blonde. Yep, so that's November. 
And here we come. I said every new year I do something different. And so here comes December. And I'm like, I have some growth now. I have a month's growth. So I said, here we go again. Right, do you want to do this? Do you want to try it? Do you, you going to dye your hair or just leave it alone? And at that point, it was December 30th. And I said, I'm just not going to do it. And I said, let's try this. And for me, like I said before, it's just hair. So if I don't like it, I'll just dye it. I'm not going to make myself crazy over it. And, you know, but it's going to be about me. I'm not going to let what anybody else says about it affect my decision. So. so how much of what you have right now is natural and how much is colored hair? So let's see. I could show you. So some is. So, so this is all natural. Mm -hmm. I'm so tempted to just like, just shave it all. <laughs> um, this is all. That's so you, a natural color. Yeah, that's all natural. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. And then this kind of matches right. what's going on here. And then in between there, I have the blonde. And, you got everything. You got a mosaic going on. Yeah. What made you join Going Gray Gracefully? Well, I just wanted to see, I'm more of a like online stalker. I don't always participate in everything, um, but I just wanted to get, talk or just see what other people are going through. Because like I said, the struggle is real. And you know, although I try to rock it with fashion, it's still like in my head, you're 47. What are you doing? Shaving the side of your head off. Like you're going to be 50 soon. You know, shouldn't you start to like Act your have age. this different look to you? And so, yeah, it's, I struggle with it. Definitely. So I wanted to just kind of see what other people are going through and get inspiration because you see some really beautiful women out there. And I'm like, wow, if my hair could be like that, instantly I'd be so happy. But it's the transition that makes it crazy. It's kind of interesting because I hear, I hear different things. On the one hand, I hear you talking about, you know, you love fashion and, and being sort of on the edge and edgy and artistic and all that and rock and all that. At the same time, you were pretty insecure about the whole process. And so you joined Going Great Gracefully to get that support because it is hard. As much as you're rocking it at the same time, it's, it's mental. <laughs> it's a lot of mental. It's scary. Mm -hmm. But what did your daughter think? Oh, she's like, go ahead, mom, do it. I mean, she, everyone around me is really supportive. She's like, you're going to look fly no matter what. That's what she, she's like, no matter what, you're just going to look good. Well, so everyone's really excited to, to see me go through it and kind of see the end result. So I, you know, I'm like, the goal is by 50, it's going to all be go grown out. It's going to all be me. That's awesome. And, and 50 is going to be your authentic year. Yes. Tell me this. Um, in the process, uh, what's, what's the worst comment you've ever had from somebody when you've had the gray hair? And what's the best comment that you've had throughout the process of, of cause you've got, you've gotten gray and then you've gone back and you've gone gray and you've gone back. So during that whole cycle, What's the best and worst comments you've received on the gray? Um, I have one friend and they call him and, and him and his wife, they call me Ruby, which in Spanish is, it's a short for Rubia, which is Blondie. And um, they're like my hardest critics. So I would say that my best and worst came from them all rolled up in the same day in the same comment. Um, so I sent them, I have like a series of pictures because I told my daughter, I was looking at all these side cuts. So I said, I think I want to do it just to kind of show that I'm doing this on purpose. And I kind of like, I'm anxious to see what's underneath there. 
And so she says, take pictures of the process and send it to me and video it. So I did a little bit of that. And so when I was done, I sent it to my, my friends to see what they would say because they're stuck. They're like, I've dyed my hair other colors and they like, no, we don't like it. You're, that you should have been like, you should always be blonde. So I'm like, okay. So I sent it to them to see what they would say. And um, we'll fast forward to, we hung, I hung out with them. They were like, oh, it looks great. Wow, can't believe it. But then I hung out with them and it was face to face. And um, Roland looks at me and he goes, you know, you know, I love you as a blonde and I will accept you the way you are. And he's like, but I have to admit, it looks good. Nice. So it was like all in one. <laughs> That's really nice. It's interesting. I love the whole idea that you shaved it specifically so people know you're doing this intentionally. Mm -hmm. Not because you wanted to see what it really was underneath. I, I think for... For a lot of people, especially women, um, I think for most women, I think that's the scariest part is that transition phase where you have the skunk, where, you know, you kind of aren't sure, you're, you, you just look like you're going through something, you haven't made it to the hairdressers yet, and so I, I think it's awesome. I, I, I never would have guessed that was why you did it, right? To show that this is intentional and mm -hmm. yourself what's really underneath. I love that concept. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should do that myself. Um, what, what advice do you have for other women who are thinking about going through this process of going gray? I'd say that go into it knowing that if it makes you completely sad inside it's just hair you can change it but you shouldn't care about what anybody else thinks don't not do it because you're afraid of what society will say or your friends and when it's all said and done I know that they're gonna love it and I say that for myself too because I just, I see it. I'm watching this growth on people on the internet and the end result just is so worth it. Awesome. So hang in there. <laughs> Excellent. So Lorraine, thanks so much for joining us here at um, Silver Sage. Have you had a chance to look at Silver Sage magazine? I did. I love all the articles and the direction that it's taking to address people in our generation, you know, and address topics that we're interested in, not what the youth is and what so many other magazines are offering. I'm I, really excited to be a part of it too. Thank you. I, I, told, I couldn't agree with you more actually. Um, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, it's gonna take, um, it's gonna take a village of Silver Sagers for us to, to change the world and to let us all be our authentic selves. But I think your voice and your message is really clear. And I really thank you and appreciate the time that you spent with me today and getting the message out there to other women like us. No, thank you very much, Tracy.